Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharallah. Kol Haloyim La, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Haracha Kodash. We're blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa that's keeping the faith in the work. Shall keep at it. So, Brother Abaya, coming at you with more precepts. This is the book of Job, chapter 18, and uh, verse 5, it says, Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. All right? Uh, verse 14, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. All right? The king of terrors is Yahweh. Is you know what I'm saying? And ultimately, the wicked... The weakest road leads to the king of terrors, and they're going to know exactly who the king of terrors is when you have, when you have about Shemir, how a shy lets loose on this earth. All right? Um, so I'm going to read this article with this devil <laughs> uh, trying to reassure his people that everything cool, everything copacetic. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing to worry about. Which takes my mind to First Thessalonians um, chapter 5 and verse 3. It says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right? So, title of this um, article, it's on Zero Hedge, by the way. Right, it's called Zelensky tries to reassure Hollywood A-listers at Golden Globes there will be no third world war. And the devil is a lie. It's definitely going to be a third world war. Right? Whether it be in 2023, I don't know. But how about Shemar Shah Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, really, it had already started for real, for real. It just ain't got full-fledged boots on ground. Full fledged announcement of a World War Three, but it really had not already started, right? Um, the thing that's going on with Russia and Ukraine, thing that's going on with China and Taiwan, thing that's going on with North and South Korea, right? Thing that's going on with Israel and Iran, right? And the daughter of Babylon being in the midst of all of that, along with its cohorts, right? Uh, Europe, such as France, Germany, you know what I mean? Um, the, the neighbors of the daughter of Babylon, which is Canada, <clears throat> it had not already started, man. They supplying uh, Ukraine with all kind of war, um, you know, war weapons, uh, all kind of um, arsenal and training, right? Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, in 2023, they they um, are going to allow uh, Ukrainian soldiers to train in America, right? Um, on that um, Patriot missile, missile system that they've funded Ukraine. So many of these nations have been funding Ukraine with not just weapons, but actual soldiers too. Right? And Russia didn't already caught on to it, man. They didn't call it up. Right? Really, they've been saying it, but they, spe they named specific nations and organizations. So, let me get into this article. It says... When we first heard that Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky would make a virtual appearance at 80th Annual Golden Globe Awards Tuesday night in order to update the audience and American public on the status of the conflict, which is that's nonsense as hell. How you how you updating the people on some damn award show? Right? That's Hollywood as hell, man. The nigga was an actor back in the day. Now he the president of the play, just like uh, what his name Ronald Reagan was. So all this ain't nothing but, you know what I mean? Uh, um, I, it ain't nothing but a show. But with dire consequences. Right? But it says, uh, let's see. It says, we thought it was a joke. It should be remembered, too, that the Oscar Awards rejected efforts for Zelensky appearance last year, though he did give an emotional speech at the Grammys last April. It says, but like with much else connected with Zelensky and the unprecedented pandering of American institutions for a foreign leader, it was all too absurdly real. He told the audience of Hollywood A-listers that there will be no third world war, citing Ukraine's momentum 
um, on the battlefield. It says the war in Ukraine is not over yet, but the tide is turning and it is already clear who will win. <laughs> Zelensky said after being introduced by friend and actor Sean Penn, there are still battles and tears ahead. You damn right it's already clear who's gonna win. See if Russia got uh, a nuclear weaponry. So worst case worse, they gonna bomb the brace off your ass. Ain't no way uh, 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 a country, a superpower such as Russia, right? Will lose a war to a small ass neighboring country called Ukraine and really is really a part of Russia. <laughs> right word. It says he launched into a bit of a history lecture akin to his December in-person congressional speech reminding the television viewing audience that the Golden Globe Awards first got its start during World War II and compared the current Russian invasion to the struggle for the right of the new generations to know about the war only from movies. All right, this is laughable, man. This nigga real life went on a, on, <laughs> on a war show. Right, and, and honestly, this is propaganda at its finest. You know what I'm saying? This real life on um, the daughter of Babylon trying to pull uh, uh, American spirits. You know what I'm saying to root for these niggas. Like, who cares? I don't give a good damn about what happened to Ukraine or Ukrainians. Just being real, because we got our own issues going on. These folks are here marching for reparations, and this man they said he gonna give fifty five billion to uh, countries in Africa, for specifically for right slavery. Fifty five billion, all right. So I don't care about what's going on over there. I know it got a lot to do with what's going on over here, but the only thing I care about is that thing leading to something bigger. Because I understand that it has to get bigger so that destruction can come and we can, you know, all of the prophecies can come to pass. But as far as me caring about what this man got to say on the, in the speech at a, at a war show, psh, man, stop. So it says, that's when Zelensky sought to assure Americans against what's become a legitimate over, overarching concern, right? Uncontrollable escalation between the U.S. and Russia. Since the First World War claimed millions of lives, the Second World War claimed tens of millions of them. There will be no Third World War. It is not a trilogy, Zelensky said. This nigga bold-faced lying. Right? And, and, and outside of... Well, it ain't even outside of because it's all connected. Right? Let me go to the scripture right quick. So this is Revelation. Um, 11 and da, 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 da. let me see da, 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 da. Revelation 11 and 14 it says the second woe is past and behold the third woe cometh quickly that's the third world war right you go into Revelation 9 and it gives you basically the breakdown of World War One and Two, this is written in the scriptures, bro. This is written in the scriptures, sis. Thousands of years before it happened, All right? Then you know that it's gonna be in Europe. This is I'm talking about Revelation Nine, where it speaks about World War One and Two. Tells you it's gonna be a specific person that's gonna start this thing, right? And you go into the history of what happened in World War One and Two, and everything lines up. So what make you think <laughs> there ain't gonna be no third world war? This for idiots right here, for real, for real. When that man went on that award show and said, "Y'all be cool, man. It's all good. Ain't gonna be no third world war." That was for idiots. That that, that right there was for sheeple, right? Cause who who was watching the award show? No, I wouldn't. Right? Give, I, who cares about um award show? All right, like real talk. Anyway, it says, read the part again. The First World War claimed millions of lives. The Second World War claimed tens of millions of them. There will be no Third World War. It is not a trilogy promising that Ukraine will stop the Russian aggression, 
with the help of the free world or he hinting in it he hinting at it they not just fighting that alone so all right there's another strike against media you know how media like to play it like this just russia i mean uh ukraine standing alone on their own two feet holding it down against the big bad bear called russia <laughs> and they and they real life uh, throwing blows with the, with the with the beast or uh, with the bear rather slot, and that's a damn lie. Ukraine got the backing of the daughter of Babylon and all its allies. Straight like that, all right? Slot one second, all right. Let's see. I said they just don't want to outright say, um, you know. We want war. And that also shows you the weakness of the daughter of Babylon. Because back in the day, <laughs> when there been no backing, you know what I'm saying, sending no weapons nowhere, it had been like uh, uh, somebody said they need democracy. Okay, let's send the troops in. When there been no, well, we're going to send y'all some weapons and, you know what I'm saying, throw some sanctions their way. Wouldn't have been none of that. It would have been straight up war. And they gave us some. Fancy name and created movies behind it, and just it basically everything you see in now just would have been more direct, All right? But anyway, it says the war in Ukraine is not over yet, but the tide is turning, and it is already clear who will win. We will make it together with the whole free world, and I hope that all of you will be with us on the victorious day, the day of our victory. Zelensky said, All right, straight like that, like I said. He trying to get the, to get the get the people involved. See this the, this the thing about the devil. The devil needs your support. Straight like that. He gotta have your okay in order for him to do things. Right. You gotta invite him in so that he can have free range to just operate as is. Right. Cause it's like. Matter of fact, I bring the scripture out all the time. Um, but it's deep. The book of Judah, chapter five, and uh, verse nineteen says, "But now they return to their God, and are come up from the places where they were scattered, and have possessed Jerusalem." Where their sanctuary is, and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. So, the devil needs you to offer up yourself for his cause, because that separates you from from power. Now, it's a whole different thing if they try to force you to do something. If they force you to do something, that's against your will. So you may, if if it go that if the, if it goes that route, and you are a member of the elect, then your how about your shot got you. So he gonna defend you. But if you just offering up your spirit, you offering up your hope, you offering up your faith to this devil, then you just separated yourself from the Father, and now that devil got free range to do whatever it is he wanna do. Right. Because of what you chose to do. And that's the big thing about Revelation 13. He's going to make it to where you're going to have to decide to take that thing. And once you decide to take that thing, it's over with for you. All right? He ain't going to force that per se. All right? And what I mean when I say that, he may, you know what I'm saying, like have to where, where like I said in Scripture, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you get it. So that's forcing you in a, in, a, in a major way. But as far as actually holding you down, pinning you down, and, you know, jabbing that thing in you and saying, hey, there you go. No, nah, it won't be like that. Because you have to offer yourself up to him. Right? But it says, for anyone worried that the world is inching toward nuclear Armageddon, these words are not cause for comfort, but quite the opposite. <laughs> All right. It says, after all, it's 2023 and a foreign head of state just appeared at a Hollywood award show to tell celebrities he's not expecting World War Three to break out. Right. What kind of foolishness is that? All right. But it says, but Kiev, 
Kaif, whatever it says, Baki, whatever, wants to combat growing global skepticism regarding the world, the war's outcome in order to keep the Western weapons pipeline flowing, of course. Right? It says he also just pledged victory over nuclear, nuclear armed superpower Russia and that a Ukrainian win is becoming clear. So let that sink in. Right, it says, as for Sean Penn's introduction, it was expectedly filled with standard Hollywood style moralizing about the current thing, causes of the moment. Right. So how it is in Hollywood, whatever whatever society say is good, Hollywood gonna put that thing on on all all the T V shows, all the commercials and the movies and so forth and so on. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just always been down for whatever the new thing is, right? So it says, um, Zelensky stated in a video message during the Golden Globe ceremony that, uh, that all right, we pretty much just read that and uh, give a damn about what Sean Penn, I think that's his name. Yeah, Sean Penn got to say about it. Uh, let's see. There's mm. another well, I'll go and read it out since we had the end of this. It says, from the otherworldly courage of young Iranians rising up to the ever-preserving women's movement of Afghanistan, we are reminded in no uncertain terms that the freedom to dream is not simply a human luxury, but rather a human need that must be fought and sacrificed for, Penn said during the introduction. To tell you how insin uh, uh, unsincere this is, like I said, man, there's so much stuff going on right here. In the door of Babylon. And ain't, ain't, ain't nobody hiding it. It ain't here. The dude live in Hollywood. You know how many homeless people there is in Hollywood? You know they got whole blocks of homeless people living in tents. Like straight neighborhoods of homeless people living in tents. Round where this nigga stay. And he talking about Iran and Afghanistan. Right? That's the nonsense of the daughter of Babylon and the people that represent him, man. Straight hypocrites, straight hypocrisy, man. Right? But it says, let me see. As for Zelensky's World War commentary, it doesn't bode well for this most alarming of all potential future scenarios that the Kremlin just this week said it views the U.S. and NATO specific as now direct parties to the war. Right? I said, man, it's all it already been understood, but now they now they saying it, ver they verbalizing it specifically. Right? It says Russian Security Council Security a Secretary, it's a lot. Nikolai Patrovich Patrashev, right? Described Moscow's viewpoint this week saying the events in Ukraine aren't a clash between Moscow and Kyiv. It's a military confrontation of NATO. First of all, the U.S. and Britain with Russia. Right. Fearing a direct engagement, NATO instructors push Ukrainian men to certain death. Right. And he's saying basically if they keep on keeping on, man, whoever involved going to die. Right. And he, they basically saying the people to blame will be NATO. The daughter of Babylon, which is America, and Britain. All right, it says at the end of his Golden Globe Award speech, Zelensky got his now basically routine standing ovation from the audience. Man, I seen a, a video of this man going to Congress when he came to the daughter of Babylon and stood before Congress and gave his speech. Man, they gave this man a standing ovation damn near every time he stopped talking. I'm talking about like, what, 15, 25 standing ovations. That's how false and fake it is, man. All this whole thing made up, man. This whole thing made up because of, uh, man, these folk trying to push this world into some whole other stuff. And I said, man, the world is changing. If you can't see that, man, you're blind as hell. For real, for real. The policies of the world is changing. The, ec the economy of the world is changing. This thing, this whole thing is changing. And they need this conflict in order to make these changes, right? They have to present problems in order to present solutions. They have to create these problems in order to create solutions, right? 
But it's certain countries around the world, they like, nah, man, daughter of Babylon, y'all done held that torch a little bit too long. It's time to pass that thing. And the daughter of Babylon, like, no, nah, I'm not trying to pass it. Y'all just hold tight. I got this. Let's move us into the new. That's the conflict that we're seeing. And at the end of the day, both sides are going to lose. We read that in Ezekiel 39. Well, it's in Ezekiel 39. Right, both sides are gonna be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, gonna serve. You know what I'm saying? Servitude, and, and um, you know, so forth and so on. Right, call hello, I'm like, how about Shimmy Alasha? Um, so let me go to the book of Isaiah. Um, Isaiah chapter thirteen and verse four, and I close out with this. It says, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Yahweh of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. How ye, for the day of Yahweh is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Straight like that. The day of Yahweh is at hand, man. We seeing the build up, we seeing all of the end time prophecies happening at the same time. And I said, man, um, you know what I mean? Um, those of us that operate in the spirit of truth, spirit of righteousness, spirit of faith, spirit of holiness to the best of our ability. We're hoping that all of these end time prophecies come to pass, right? Soon. I mean, real soon. I mean, that so-called 2023, right? Give a damn about folk that don't know no better, talking about they wanted to get better. And why Why y'all thinking like that? And why do you want this? And you don't know no better, man. Just chill out. All right? We'll catch you in the kingdom, right? So, like I said, with that, hey, how about Shema Shah Ratazah? These precepts in this video were edifying. Call hello yamla, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Haraka, Kwadash, Shalom Yashallah.